This pup is out there 90 to 100 yards. Got a slight breeze left to right. Boom. Headshot. This is one of the siblings. Also, just on the back side of the mound. Takes one, rolls off to the side. Sometimes they're so close and they pop up next to you, you don't have time to really focus right in the eye. If you've never been prairie dog hunting, they camouflage very well. You can just make out the top of his head over the top of the mound. He's out there about 65 yards and I'm going to try and lob one in on him and you can see the pellet make the impact. I believe this one was inside 20 yards. He pops up out of the ground, we swing around, take the shot, hit him right below the right eye. This guy was even closer. Couldn't get focused, took the shot right in the cheek. Took this shot at about 90 yards uh, on an adult. As you can see, it must have hit him in the spine. He's really out there flailing around trying to pull himself up, but not doing real well at it. I got one spotted over here behind these weeds. You can kind of see the yellow. He's somewhere under 50 yards. Goes through, hits, and I was surprised he didn't go into the burrow that he was near. I never did go look to see if the burrow was even open. As you can see, he is running off and just blindly running through stuff. So he's, he's hurt, there's no doubt about it. He's starting to circle back around. I'm following in the event that uh, I may need a follow-up shot, and it, as it does appear, I will. Turning the corner now reminds me of kind of a racehorse going the wrong direction. You'll notice in his right side, you can see the point of impact. He's starting to bleed out as he does go into a burrow that apparently does have an opening and disappears to the inside. Got this pup out there at about 95 to 100 yards. Winds are calm, pretty much holding on him. You can see the point of impact as the camera's in slow motion, you can see his body flex and move up. It appears as though he got hit, but not certain. As not much dirt flew up, but he is going into his burrow head first. You can be sitting out among a cluster of these burrows and never see a dog until you start to hear them chirp and bark. This fellow was well inside 25 yards. He's actually a hold under. That's how close he is. I'm literally sitting on top of him. They are well camouflaged and you have to look for their little black eyes sometimes. Shot right into the cheek. This pup's out there about 75 yards. Got a wind right to left. Shot goes. And interesting move on his part. A forward flip. Bounces on his back. Rolls off to the side of the mound. Tumbles down the side. See the tail sticking in the air. I'm still holding the camera on him. See what he's going to do. And he gets up and comes back up to the top of the burrow. 
these animals are somewhat resilient. It may have been a minor wound. I can't see his other side where the shot would have taken place, but it looks like he's ready for another shot. This pup appears to be telling his burrow mates that the coast is clear and the guys with the guns are gone. Little does he know, in just a few seconds, there's going to be a 22 caliber JSB monster redesign impact him in the right shoulder. He's out there about 75 yards. If you watch carefully, you can see where it hits him. And he just rolls over and into the burrow he goes. This adult is out there a little over 100 yards, soaking up some sun rays and getting ready to soak up a shot. You'll notice it hits him in the neck and it's a pass through. As you can see the dirt fly off and to the right and in front of him as it sinks back down into the burrow. Another quick shot. A lot of dirt, grass fly up. You can see that it was clearly a hold under as this one was probably 15 to 20 yards. Sometimes they just pop up right in front of you. So the dirt flies up. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. But you notice the pellet went through the dirt, got the target. As he flails around, clearly he's hit. During editing, I made a miscalculation, and this is actually the second animal on the burrow. Small pup, fairly young, takes it just to the left shoulder, full pass through, he's done for. He wasn't very far away. The next one is the one that I shot at the first time. This is the first one. This is his sibling takes a shot right in the neck and will roll off of the mound of dirt. You can see the one that was shot previously in the lower right hand corner. Sometimes your shots don't make sense. This animal was out there at about 75 yards, had his left side to me, and yet as he turns, you can see that it's his right leg that was hit. It must have passed through his chest and out through his right side. As you can see in this clip, I'm still tracking him. I'm waiting for him to hold still long enough to put a shot on him. I'm cocking the gun again. Got another round in the chamber. He's looking for a burrow. I'm trying to track ahead of him, lose track, find him again. He's trying to find something, trying to find a way out of the danger. And I lose him from there. Then he pops back up. I'm now ready for him. I see him crawling behind the rough terrain and I'm going to put another shot on him. As he climbs a little bit higher, he's obviously hurt. Put him out of his misery. Believe that shot was low. Dirt flew up. He jumped up. Now he's going to crawl off into the burrow that he was starting to hide in and I'm gonna lose track of him. This pup's out there about 85 yards. I'm gonna squeeze off the shot. Interestingly, it went under his neck and into his right side. I did a frame by frame review of this shot and you can kind of see how he's kind of protecting that right leg. So he's pretty much done for. 
I've got two animals in the field of view. I'm going to take a shot at this one. He's 85 yards. He's just outside the burrow. As the shot lets go, you can see the impact on his right rear hindquarters. He's injured. The other sibling runs up to the mound and you can see the one that is shot is trying to gather himself together to get away, but he's just not able to get all of his limbs going the same direction. As he hurries to the burrow, he gets beside the other uninjured animal. And we all hope for that one opportunity to get a twofer. A twofer is one of those shots where you get two animals for the price of one. But they never really give me that opportunity. They kind of stayed like this for a bit. And in this clip, I did some editing on the video. I got tired of waiting and decided I'd just take the shot again and finish the one that was injured off. But my holdover was a little bit on the low side. A lot of dirt flies up. The animal runs the other direction. And so much for a twofer. This young pup is about 65 to 70 yards. And I squeezed the trigger and hit him in the right rear part of his abdomen. And he's going to the burrow. These two pups pop up out of a burrow to see what all the commotion is about. The one in the back is just about to get some dental work. Boom, hit him right in the jaw. Got two pups out looking around, out there about 65 yards. Squeeze off a first shot on the pup on the right. Hits a little low. Dirt flies everywhere. Second pup sitting there looking around, wondering what is going on. So now I'm set up on him. Raise my holdover up a little bit. Boom. Makes contact. He jumps back. Now he's heading back into the burrow. So the first one comes back up, or another one. One of them comes out of the burrow this time and does not get away. Shot makes a good solid impact and down he goes. Sometimes it pays to try, try again. This is one of my longer shots of the day. Out there about 120 yards. What you can't see is I'm shooting at the one that's behind the weeds. I watched him run over there and hide behind the weeds. If you look closely at the bottom of the screen, you can see him flailing around. You see tail and legs. While the other ones look around, not really knowing what's going on. So this shot, I've moved up a little bit. About 110 yards on this one, right on top of the head as he goes off in the burrow. Holdover on this one was a little bit high. Just misses him as he goes down to the burrow. This was one of my longer successful shots. About 170 yards, makes contact. He is flopping and moving around. He's obviously hurt. Had to have hit him in the rear hindquarters. As you can see him dancing around. I've got the scope power turned pretty much all the way down. I'm having to be real steady when they're at that distance. 
as he continues to try to find comfort in one of the burrows. Shooting through a fence can be tricky because you can still hit the wire, believe it or not. This one passed over the wire. 120 yards and boom, right on the back. He is trying to get away and he is hurt. Here's the other one he was hanging out with. Hard to see, well camouflaged. He stood still long enough for me to take a shot. As he starts to walk away, he stops. Big mistake. Right range. Boom. Right in the back. He goes down, trying to move away, trying to find a burrow. Not gonna find it in time. This fellow's out there at about 120 yards. The RTI Profit Plus, when you do your part, will follow through with its part. Popular mound, must have had quite a few pups. Shot a couple at this mound before, came back, saw them again, pow, down he goes. When the mounds are tall like that, it makes it a little bit easier. You've got some elevation with them and it's easy to put the shot where it needs to be. Not all shots were done on maximum magnification. This guy's out there about 45 yards. Minimum magnification goes down like a ton of bricks. Another shot on low magnification, 35 yards. You'll notice he has a sibling off to the left hand part of the screen. He's looking around, his head goes down, and now he's gonna scurry into the hole to find out what that was all about. This guy's out there, 175 yards or so. Try and take the shot. No win. Boom, right next to him. Oh well, you don't try, you're gonna miss. The sibling from an earlier shot, well, he didn't go all the way down. He came back up and took one to the head. Game over. I discovered an end point, which is in the neck or the throat, seems to do the most damage. As headshots sometimes didn't always work, they would die back down to the burrow. You can see this one is still flailing around, although I don't believe he has any control over his motor skills. I think this is just nerves and muscles firing. So, in the future, if I can take a shot at the neck, that's where I'm going to aim. This guy, too, took one in the throat. <coughs> Seen to pretty much halt any of his movement as he just rolled over. Missed the wind a little bit, caught him in the hindquarters, also out there about 35, 40 yards. If you're a prairie dog, you never turn your back on a man with an air gun. Such a classic prairie dog pose and shot. Their heads are a bit hard. This one's going to take one off the top of the head, and then you'll see it ricochet in the dirt in the background. <laughs> 